Hey there, so here we are in our bathroom. It's a big day for Basil. Now, you don't really need to bath the cat too often, but I find every three months or so seems to aid their natural you know, cleaning mechanisms just a little bit. In terms of giving their skin a bit of a, a clean out, sometimes cats get a bit dandruffy. So Basil today is having his bath. Um, this process I just use pretty standard uh, oatmeal sort of cat shampoo or dog shampoo and um, that's about it like I don't do anything super special N neither of the pets need medicated shampoos or anything like that um, lemon gets a bit of dandruff basil gets a tiny bit but not as bad it's mainly just for loosening up some more stubborn mats that do tend to form like around the back um, a bit of a soak you will get wet in this process and the cat won't like you for a, an hour or so afterwards, but Basil actually is fairly used to it. So never had too many issues. He kind of goes with it. He's a pretty easy going cat. So um, I've got a bath full of water. I fill the water up before I start um, even bringing the cat near the bath because the sound of the running water is a large part of their concern. It's, um, he's, I think he's just worked out what's happening. How many of you oh no. Um, so I think the, yeah, the running water is a large part of the concern. So if you can just have as quiet and peaceful as you can when you're doing it, that's uh, really your best shot of getting through it unscratched. So I haven't, I haven't de you know, Basil's obviously not declawed. He might scratch me a couple of times, but we just generally work through it. And um, this is all just a part of being a cat owner, unfortunately. Um, just one of the processes that unless you do it with them all the time, oh, it's a good Basil, unless you do it with them all the time, um, they're never going to quite love it, but even feeling him now, there's some parts behind his neck that he's been missing or that have just kind of gone a bit a bit too far gone. Oh, claws stuck in my jacket, does not uh, A bit too far gone to be able to just be managed with, oh, with, um, with normal sort of cat self-cleaning. So anyway, without further ado, there'll be a bit of struggles, there'll be a few meows, but it'll be okay. So make sure all your stuff's ready before you get them in there because it's sort of almost a bit of a three-hand job. So, <laughs> three-hand job. So that includes like getting the, you know, the cap off the shampoo and all that sort of stuff. Just so you can get going, have your towels on standby as well. And most importantly, have a warm room that they can go and sit in, sulk under a chair or something. Um, that you're just gonna have to have the heater on for a while or something. So I've got somewhere to go and stay. Obviously don't do it on a super cold day and if you do have inside slash outside cats, obviously have it so they can't go running outside and get covered in you know dirt or whatever or just get like scared and, and lost and super cold. So that's that. Let's uh let's go Basil. Oh come on mate. Oh you're a good kid. Oh it's alright, it's alright. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. All right, that's a good kitty, yes. Nice kitty. Good, Mr. Basil, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. this isn't the natural order of things, is it, Basil? Hmm? It's all right. I'm just going to gradually sort of dip you under just a little bit more, a bit of a baptism of Basil. Get this water all the way up to your middle, at least. Yes, that's a good Mr. Kitty. What a nice kitty you are, hey? We don't like this, do we, Basil? Don't like this. Eh? I'd rather only do this once in a once in a lifetime, eh? Even once is too much, isn't it? Oh, Basil. Okay. Just gonna get you under that water there, mate. There we go. Oh, 
Getting these folds and grooves here. So this is where, especially sort of flatter faced cats, they do pick up goop there and they like this part the least. Get a bit of panting every now and then, that sort of thing just throws them out just a little bit. <laughs> Basil. Oh, he's actually, I mean, he'd rather obviously not be here, but he's fairly calm, like he's not shaking or anything like that. He's, to be honest, I think eventually they quite like the submerged in warmth feeling because obviously cats are sponges for warmth. So. So you'll find after this, he's he, like the brush that you do with him will get all of the fur that's just been sort of stuck there through like oils and things like that. And as I said, this isn't something you need to do super often, well not in my experience anyway, but it definitely does renew him a little bit. But then yeah, eventually they just like to have their own sort of cleaning, you know, the cat cleaning themselves kind of thing which does the job, as I said, most of the time, but this is yeah, a bit of a three times a year, maybe four times a year. Just give them a really good once over. It kind of gives them a bit of a reset, and then yeah, they sort of take care of themselves as, with the aid of you brushing them, obviously, with you know the right brushes and stuff. But from this point, though, he'll really take care of himself for a while, and he'll look really nice for you know a good sort of two to three months again. Actually, I would say I'd probably only do this three times a year because, yeah, even three monthly sounds like too often to me, like when I think about how often I actually do this. All right, time for some rinsing. So just, when it's rinsing time, you just got to get it under the water as best you can. You're very easy going, hey? Very easy going, Mr. Boy. Good, Mr. Basil, hey? Good kitty. You don't look much like the Basil that we know right now, do you? Good chat. I know, mate. I know. That's a good kitty. 
You'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all right. Quick rinse and then I think we're done. So I find to rinse the face, just soapy rag. They don't like it, this is the part that he really hates. Just squeeze the water, let it sort of drip over him. They'll snort the water out, it's fine. There we go, there we go. We don't like this story. We don't like this, okay. All right, so, <laughs> we reckon, I think I've covered most of him. And I think he's telling me that he's done. Good amount of like old stale fur will come off of him. So now I will plop him out and put him on the ground and just let him get his bearings again. There we go, Mr. Basil. Yeah, it's all right. A couple of towels for you, mate. Oh, he knows which way the door is, that's for sure. Hey? Now some people, some people can blow dry their cats. I just find this absolutely freaks them out. As effective as it probably is, I just find that the drama that you get from the cat when you turn on the blow dryer, I've never been able to get my two used to it. So that's not something that I'll be doing with Basil. I'll just be toweling him. Oh, let's get a look at you, mate. I'll just be toweling him and um, just working from there. Just. A bit of a, I'm obviously a much slower way of getting him dry, and then he can just sit in the warm room, you know, try and keep a room at about 30 degrees Celsius or something for him to sit in and, you know, think, uh, you know, plot my death obviously, but really, eventually, he will look absolutely lovely. And probably, he probably hate to admit it, but feel absolutely lovely as well. So, oh, just a basil. So there we are, it's our mate Basil, he's feeling I think a little bit less upset at me, just going to go and dry him some more and um, he'll get his nice robust shape back in the next couple of hours. And you always look a bit like a drowned rat don't you mate, hey, straight after. Poor old Basil. So as I said, once every three months at the most, geez, and yeah, thinking about it, it's probably only every four or four to five even that we do this. It's just when we notice that they've got some mats that us just brushing them and them doing their normal cat stuff isn't taken care of. So there we go. Oops, a bit of dirt in his hand. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here we are again. He's, I'd say, about 85% dry. And you can sort of see as I pat him, you get a little bit of, yeah, real sort of light fluffy off. So the brushes we use on Basil, generally, well on both of our cats, we've got this Ferminator here. This is for getting actual mats out and it's like a fairly um, fairly intensive brush and when it gets to a mat it sort of stops and gives it a bit of a tug. It's got slight kind of blade in there as well and of course you can push out the, push out the stuff that you need to sort of get off. And then we've got the shedding comb here. This is also good for just sort of really gentle um, undercoat removal and this really kind of whips up a flurry of real um, a real wispy little hairs when you use it on him and he actually quite likes this one. I think this is his favourite to be brushed with. These cats get groomed a lot so they they have their ups and downs with it but they're you know, quite happy to be brushed generally. They sort of go through a bit of an emotional roller coaster of getting um, you know like this and then you know you get the wrong part that they don't like you Scrab brushing on for too often and they can get a bit nippy. That's just all cats pretty much as long as I've known them. And then this one here, this is just another sort of pretty standard cat brush that you can use to just get in there and kind of straighten out fur that needs to be perhaps pushed all in the same way. I usually use this as a bit of a finishing comb. So we're getting lots of good fur off of Basil right now. Of course you can just shed it like this. And off it comes. 
so this is why I wash him from you know, just from time to time because it really does kind of let you do a really nice intensive brush without it causing him too much annoyance because sometimes when he's quite matted you need to do really um, quite sort of you need to work him quite hard and that can piss him off and probably cause him a little bit of discomfort sometimes so right now this brush is probably actually going to do everything that I need it to do today and it's probably the most gentle of all of them. So what is this spot here isn't it mate? You don't like that do you? It's that cat crazy spot you know where you they just lose it when they you know when you scratch there? It's that, that area. Is this? It's you. Hmm? Basil Trump there. Hmm? Anyway, my friends, that's a probably about all I really have for you today. It's just a bit of a disassembly and then maintenance video. Maybe look at it like that. Hey? Right, eh? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Basil's completely chill with me once again. Doesn't take too long for him to forgive me because I think really now. He knows he feels nice and smooth and fluffy once again. See you all in the next video, my friends.